light is fast. It travels at an incredible 671 million miles per hour. The closest star to Earth, other than the Sun, is 25 trillion miles away. At the speed of light, that is over a four-year trip. The star Arendelle is 28 billion light years away. Scientists need to use a gravitational lens just to see it. Now, it is the furthest star discovered from Earth. But soon enough, they will find more that are. They always do. Every star crowned furthest will eventually lose the title. At some point, every star dies. It whispers out its last glow. But from our perspective, it would be a pretty long time until we learn of that death, because the light is still flowing towards us in a steady stream. Do you think when God created the stars, he made them with their light already reaching Earth for Adam and Eve to see? Or did he create them just to start giving their light so the sky lit up over time, like a slow motion cosmic breaking of glow sticks across years or decades. If God did that, then each night would have more light. Each night would be brighter than the one before. I think I'll ask God when I get to heaven. Or maybe I will be so blinded by the radiating light of Christ that I won't care. Or I'll just wait a while to see if anyone else asks. I wonder if heaven will have stars above it. If not, we could, I suppose, just ask God to say his iconic opening line again. Let there be light.